Good Tuesday morning, everyone. It's a weather aware day today, and I want to bring you up to speed with the latest of what's going on on our radar right now. There's a bunch of activity in East Mississippi, and it's moving into Alabama at a pretty fast rate of speed. So I want to zoom in here and show you where we're seeing some of the heavier rainfall and stronger storms. Notice how quickly this is moving right now. It's heading over Reform. That's along Highway 82 near Gordo, back through Tuscaloosa, if you're familiar with that area. I'm going to pause this radar and put a quick track on it as it tracks off to the north and to the east. Okay, here's who could be impacted. New Lexington in about 7 minutes, West Corona in about 21 minutes, and then Oakman in about 25. Jasper, you're about 30 minutes away, but again, like I mentioned, this is actually moving at a pretty fast rate of speed. Distance-wise, we are looking at, so say from Reform where the heaviest rainfall is to Jasper, as about 50 miles as the crow flies, as they say. So that's a look at that, but I really want to zoom out and show you the big picture here. So back in Mississippi right now, a long line of thunderstorms, and we're actually seeing some severe storms. So this is a severe thunderstorm warning right now. Again, this is for parts of Mississippi, but that just gives you an idea. And here's where we can kind of read all of this stuff very quickly. It says that there's hail that's possible with this. It looks like 60 plus mile per hour wind gust, quarter sized hail. It's moving at 55 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Most of the time when we talk about these thunderstorms, they're moving 35 to 40 miles per hour. So 55 is actually a pretty quick moving storm. Doesn't necessarily mean it's more or less intense than another, but in South Mississippi too, they have a tornado watch that's in effect as well. So. I can kind of show you where that is right now. So the tornado watch, all of the yellow counties that you see here, so I've kind of added that on. Now notice none of Alabama and none of central Alabama is under a watch right now, but let me point out there's nothing magical about state lines. State lines are simply territories, they're boundaries, but they are good guidelines for us as meteorologists to say, okay, these counties are included in our watches or warnings, but there's really nothing magical about a state line. So I always tell folks to keep that in mind and why that makes me a little, a little bit um, just staying apprised of the situation is because it is so close to our viewing area. These tornado watches really butt right up to Alabama and viewers that we serve. So we're going to keep a very watchful eye on that. I also want to zoom out just to touch and show you what's going on in Louisiana. There is a tornado warning down there near Baton Rouge. So we'll be watching that too. You can tell there's even like a little hook there on the back edge. That's why they had this tornado warning issued. So again, these are just things we're going to be looking at. This would not stay together the whole way but it does look like those kinds of ingredients that are kind of influencing these storms down to our southwest this morning are also going to be moving into Alabama later on this afternoon. So there's a quick look at the radar, but here's what we'll also notice is kind of behind all of this rain, we'll actually see some clearing skies. So notice back here, everything's clear. So that kind of line kind of marks everything off right there. So that's good news for us. And if I come over here to our future cast very quickly, I want to break down the timing for you today. So we'll kind of march through this time. So right now it's 9 o'clock. I think future cast underdoing it just a smidge because we're already starting to see those rain, that rain and storms. But let me back up. Okay, so 11 o'clock this morning, rain and storms in northwest Alabama. I moved the clock to around noon. That's when things will start heating up here in Birmingham. But notice, things become a little overtaken. And what I mean by that, it looks like it becomes more of a rain event and less of a storm event, which is kind of what we want, but it's still going to be a soggy Tuesday. But then it looks like there could be some afternoon redevelopment, especially if it stays pretty dry in East Alabama. What will happen there is that just means that there's a lot of untapped energy. So as this line of storms moves in, it will kind of, um, it will feed off of that unused atmosphere and that's why we could see these storms kind of reinvigorate just a little bit. So notice at 2 p.m. Gadsden, Pell City, Alabaster and then as we head towards about 3 o'clock we're looking at Anniston, Talladega, Rockford and then from about 3 to 4 most of this should clear to our east. By 5 o'clock it's done and then 6 o'clock cloudy skies and then even overnight we could see just a couple of hit and miss showers and as I bring this timeline out to tomorrow morning, we're starting off in the 50s. Check out what happens Wednesday afternoon. No storms expected, but temperatures are expected to climb back into the lower 70s. So our highs for tomorrow, uh, lower 70s in Birmingham, we could see 73 in Tuscaloosa for our Wednesday. 
So that gives a good idea. Does anyone have any questions? Okay. I know we get a lot of times, you know, is it going to affect us? And just, I just want folks to be apprised to any developing weather situations today and quickly show you our storm track future cast. So, of course, we have our weather aware in place today. And we can continue doing these Facebook Lives throughout the morning and afternoon to keep you up to speed with what's going on. And then things really begin to peter out by sunset this evening and then clearing skies tomorrow. Although tomorrow is warm, it will get cooler for the rest of the week. And then a pretty pleasant weekend, just a small chance of rain there for your Sunday. So if there aren't any questions right now, we'll go ahead and close it down here. But if you do have questions forthcoming, be sure to type them in the comments below. I'll be checking them and I'll be able to get back to you. So you'll have a great day.